How's it going guys? Jonathan from Gons Media Productions here. Welcome to today's video. So today we're going to be going over how to make your photos into a slideshow video of sorts to put on your website, to put on social media, to put on anything on the internet. I deal with a lot of real estate agents and a lot of real estate agents, they are short for time. They don't want to take the time to learn new software. Sometimes it's hard. They're not always the most tech savvy, which is completely understandable. And they just want something easy, fast and effective. So today we're gonna to show you just that, something that's easy, something that's fast and effective, and it's not gonna cost you a whole lot, if anything at all. So um, let's just get started and jump in the computer here. All right, guys, so here we are inside of my browser, and I just wanna say today's question comes from Michelle Miramontes. Michelle asked me, I wanted to know how I can make my listing photos into a virtual video. Is there an app I can use? And yes, yes there is, Michelle. There are several ones, so we're gonna go through a couple of them here today. Um, this is the property that I'm going to use for this example. It's 124 17 Howard Street. This property has already been sold. Um, so this is the information we're gonna use. We're gonna go based off of, this is one of Michelle's listings, so I figured I'd help her out with this. So um, there are a few options when browsing the internet. I saw a few different video options. Um, some stuck out to me more than others and just I was looking for something that was really easy to use it wasn't expensive and it was just gonna work right so Smilebox was one of the options here um, some of the templates didn't really catch my eye they seem like a, a little bit of a, a more uh, feminine touch if you will um, which is okay if you're into that this could be a good option for you but it's not really a business based platform they do have some business options down here but they still have a lot of family stuff and they also do e-cards so this could be a good option for you but it's not going to be what we're looking for today another one would be render forest this is kind of a business heavy one they have a lot of different options here they have many different templates and stuff but i found that it wasn't exactly the easiest to use i can certainly figure out how to use this platform but for me to teach some of you guys it might be a little bit too time consuming and too hard to figure out so we're going to say no to render for us but it could be a good option for you um, one really good option that i would suggest is going to be promo.com this is a really good option they have a bunch of good templates however it's not a free option it's going to run you about 40 bucks a month so it could be it could kind of get expensive in over time, you know, but this could be a good option for some of you out there. Um, one of my favorite options that I came across was going to be Animoto. So Animoto is a great platform. I found that it was really easy to use. I think uh, it's really simple to figure out. And today we're going to kind of show you how to make one of those slideshows here on Animoto. So let's just get started. So after you sign up for a free account, you'll see up here my account says free. Um, you're going to be brought you're going to be brought to a dashboard something like this so um, we can scroll through they have a bunch of different options you see i have a real estate explainer video property listing real estate listing which would kind of be the you know the same thing um and yeah there's 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 several different options here you can probably click on the side here and go through a, a lot of them but let's just kind of go through what's going to benefit us right now so real estate listing so impress prospective clients by demonstrating your ability to promote their so i guess this would be something that you would show in a listing presentation so not necessarily what we're going to be doing right now but this one sounds a little bit more along the lines of what we're doing we're trying to promote a property right we're trying to show people that hey like this home's for sale could be a good fit for you let's sell the lifestyle so let's just go ahead and select property listing right here and we're just going to choose this template all right so everything looks loaded up right here so as you can see on the left side we have our little like widgets here so we have media which is where we're going to grab our photos and videos from the design where we're going to be able to change any colors any fonts things of that nature um, the style of the video so we can go ahead and change the style to match something similar to your brand uh, the aspect ratio which is really cool so you have a landscape aspect ratio which is something you typically find on YouTube or in cinema or you have a square one which is something more common on Facebook or Instagram so that could be a good fit for you also um, we have different filters for your photos which I kind of suggest staying away from in this scenario and then you have music options so um, let's just get started with media here what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna upload the photos from Michelle's listing 
Uh, this is probably gonna take a few minutes. I'm gonna fast forward through this and then we'll go from there. All right, guys, so we're back here in our browser. Looks like all of our photos uploaded okay. We have them all here on the left side. I think there's 26 of them, if I'm correct. But um, what we see here, so we have storyboard, right? A storyboard is essentially a quote unquote timeline. So you, you wanna think of this storyboard as it goes from beginning to end. So up here on the top left, we have the beginning, then this would be next, and this is after, and so on and so forth until you get all the way to the end. So we're gonna just take this one clip at a time, one scene at a time, and we're gonna kind of design this. Um, one thing I would suggest doing first to kind of fit the the look of your brand is let's just go over here into design so um the titles michelle she actually uses somewhat of a tiffany blue so it's going to be something similar to this if you have a certain brand color you have a hex code that you want to use you can plug it in right here but of course it's going to be an upgradable option so only people who have paid accounts are going to be able to jump in there and do that so we're going to keep it at this tiffany blue color a little bit we'll keep the subtitles white white is always a good option because it will show on most photos uh, unfortunately black is is often hard to see unless it's on a really really light background if you have a photo on there and you put black text over it, it's really hard to see and then again a video background of white is always good you want to keep things bright and airy it, it kind of attracts the eye a little bit more so white is always a good option for that um, the text size, I think it's a little big here. I'm gonna bring it down just a little bit. Again, it, it just depends on your demographic. If you're marketing to an older senior community, perhaps, maybe you want a little bit of bigger text. You know, it, it would make sense to who can blame you. But in this scenario, we're gonna bring it down a little bit, the subtitle as well. Let's just go ahead and, and bring this down just a tad. So we'll bring it right about there. And then um, something that gives a little bit of the look of Michelle's brand would be Montserrat. I'm pretty familiar with this font. It's pretty common. Um, that's that'd be a good font. And of course, if you had a paid account, you can unlock all of these other fonts. But today we're going to stick to Montserrat for a with a free account. Um, and here we can change the style if we wanted. I believe this is going to change the colors and everything. Um, let me go ahead and show you just so you can see what it would look like. So let's just say hi, I'm bold. So if you wanted to select bold, okay. So we can select the bold look. Um, I'm not necessarily a fan of that. I think I like the bulletin one. It's kind of a more cleaner look. It, it's, it's really gonna be up to you at the end of the day what really matches the look of your brand. Because you always wanna keep your branding consistent. You want people to, to recognize you and you wanna just make sure that things look the same when other people are watching them, right? So let's just go ahead and keep it. You know what, I changed my mind. So we're gonna keep things at uh, this concrete look here. So concrete, it's pretty simple. We'll leave it at that. We'll bring down this font a little bit. The accent color, let's see if we change it white. Yeah, we can leave the accent at white. So we'll just leave it at that, all right? And then landscape or square for the aspect ratio. Let's just go square. Let's assume you're making this for social media we can do square and you can kind of fit it in anywhere you want. We'll stay away from filters and then as for music, uh, let's see if we can change it. So we have a few options here, popular for business, there's uh, four options and then of course there's uh, several other options if you have a paid account. And then let's see, let's find one that fits here, business. Okay, so I went through some of the song options. Um, unfortunately, some of these are not the greatest, they're not my favorite but um, it will have to do for the sake of this video. If you wanted to get a paid account, you'd have access to several more options, but at the end of the day, this will work. What's ultimately gonna sell your home here is the house itself, so you really wanna sell the lifestyle and what's involved in the home. So um, let's just get into it, let's just get started. So let's go up here back to media and we're gonna go ahead and click this scene, and click edit. So um, I don't like this photo in the background, obviously. We're gonna pick something else. So let's see if we can grab something from over here. I am a big, big fan of how this photo came out. This is a really cool photo. So I'm just gonna slide it right over and kind of center it, position it where I want it. And then um, let's just call this, you know, a charming crafts 
Min home. Whittier, California. So we can just say that, all right? So we'll just call that our first frame there. So now let's just go ahead and go into the second frame here. And let's just find some of the better photos that we like. So I really like this photo. This photo came out well. It's the main room right when you walk in. So I'm gonna go ahead and center that up. And then again, really, really simple. And th this text can be anything that you want it to be, whatever it really is gonna help sell the home. I've gotta be honest, I'm not a real estate agent. I'm not the best when it comes to writing out descriptions and things like that. I'm not an agent, so I don't know the selling points of a home, but I'm just gonna go ahead and make things up for the sake of this video and, and we can kind of, you can gauge what you would put in, in, in this scenario. So modern with a touch of traditional let's just say that all right and if you wanted to you can go ahead and play see how it's going to look okay very cool so we'll go ahead and pause it um, if you wanted to you can scale your photo up and down let's see you can fit it to the frame you can crop it you can go full screen like we had it or you can change the color of your border but we'll just go ahead and leave it for that sake. Um, if you wanted to, you wanted this frame to be a little bit quicker, you can change it down to two seconds and then you can go ahead and, and view it again. So it'll be only a two second clip so you can see those words come in a lot faster and it's a lot quicker, right? So let's just go ahead and change that back to four seconds. That'll work with us. Um, now let's go over to the second one. So the second one I like, we can add four different photos in. So what you're gonna wanna do is first select the photo that you're gonna wanna replace and then go ahead and drag in the photo that you wanna add in. So let's just go ahead and select that. I like that one. I like, well, let's just stick with a bedroom theme here. I like this bedroom, we'll throw that in there. Select this here. We didn't shoot all the bedrooms in this house. So I will go ahead and add in, let's just throw in the dining room and then we'll throw in the kitchen here. All right, cool. So we'll go ahead and go ahead and go back here. We'll hit play. It's cool. It does this cool little Ken Burns effect, which is kind of like that, that sliding panning look that you see there. So that's kind of cool. We'll leave it at that if you wanted to only select two photos, you can select two, you wanted three, like this, or you know your options are endless if you wanted all nine, which I wouldn't suggest doing, but we'll just stick with the four for this one. Um, this home, I can't quite remember, let's just refer to the website over here. Three beds, two baths. So we'll go ahead and select the text, three bed, three bedroom, two bathroom, home be you be -E a beautiful home simply exquisite we'll just leave it at that um, if you wanted to change this you can change the size of it you can change the subtitle size you can change the colors for just this slide um, this one maybe maybe we'll drop it down by a second since it's not too much um, if you wanted to, you can just go straight into here without opening it to change the text, which is cool. So let's just say it only had one bathroom. It'd be one bathroom, but it is two. So we'll just leave it at that. Now let's say this next one, I don't have too many pictures in this scenario, let's just say, and I wanna kinda cut back a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete it down here, or let's just go ahead and delete this one. So we can delete video blocks as we need if you feel like it's going to be a little bit too much. So let's just go ahead and go back in here and let's replace this photo. So let's go ahead and go with the beautiful bonus room living area, which was really nice in this house. I really liked it. So that's kind of a cool look right there. And then we can go into this next one. One good feature about this house was that it was near the f local freeway, which the city of Whittier, if you're in Southern California, you may or may not know, all of the local freeways are 
all surrounding the city and it takes about 10 to 15 minutes just to drive to unless you're on the border of Whittier which is always a downside so that's kind of what Whittier is notorious for so we're gonna go ahead and switch up this text and we're gonna say just five minutes from 605 freeway so that's kind of a cool feature of the home so we'll go ahead and change that and let's see if we can grab a stock footage photo here let's say freeway I'm gonna even go a little bit further and I'm gonna put 605 freeway and let's see if something comes up here okay nothing with 605 so let's just go ahead and hit freeway um, this is a cool little interchange here let's see I'm gonna go ahead and add a subtitle text because this picture of downtown Los Angeles is really cool so we'll go ahead and leave it right there and then I'm gonna go ahead and add a subtitle text perfect for morning commuters or perfect for morning commute so that's kind of one advantage being in Whittier we're about 20-25 minutes from the city of Los Angeles from downtown Los Angeles where a lot of people work so it, being close to the freeway is perfect for their commute so um, for the sake of this video, I'm not going to go ahead and get into these other ones. If you wanted to edit them, you can go ahead and edit them. Um, let's just finish off with this last one. We'll just say call for a private tour. So let's just close out with this nice twilight photo here. Call for a private tour and Michelle's phone number. Sorry, Michelle, I'm going to put your number in this video, but if they really wanted to, they could get it from the MLS anyways. So we'll put it right there and then we'll go ahead and switch this out with her logo so let's just go ahead and upload her logo real quick so boom you can just go ahead and replace it just as is and if you wanted to add text to this or anything like that you can go ahead and do that is we're gonna go ahead and you know call it a day at that so we're gonna go ahead and preview it right up here. It's gonna generate a preview for us. It could take a second or two. So the only downside is it's gonna have the Animoto watermark on the bottom, which is very, very typical of a lot of free accounts on a lot of these different websites. If you wanted to, you could pay for an account and you would remove that watermark. But in this scenario, we're just gonna go ahead and leave it. Um, unfortunately, that's kind of what we're left it with, but the beauty of it is that it's really easy to make regardless so we can go ahead and hit play here it'll show us our little slideshow that we made something cool something easy so if you wanted to go back and edit it you can go back and hit continue editing and, and chop this up any which way you want it if you wanted to add something onto the end here we can say add a block and then we can add a quote and then you can type in whatever you'd like or you can add something like your logo or photo burst um, anything anything really but for the sake of this one we're gonna go ahead and hit save so just so we can save our, our project I'm gonna change the name up here to um, Howard Street we're gonna go ahead and hit preview and produce so this is gonna create a title for us we're gonna go ahead and select today's date 327 quarantine and chilling producer name is Michelle Mira Montez and if you wanted to add a description you can go ahead and do that um, so let's just go ahead and if you want to change the cover image you can say this one is the cover image this one or that one but I really like this one it's the first one that pops up which is really cool so we'll go ahead and leave it at that all right so let's just go ahead and hit finish here so it is exporting. So what it's doing here is it's giving us three different file sizes. Three, 360 by 360, 40 by 40, and 720 by 720. 720 by 720 is typically the one you're gonna wanna use in most scenarios. Uh, the bigger number means the bigger the file size, so the more clear the video is gonna come out. Um, if you wanted to share the link directly, you can do that, which I, I would kind of advise against. Um, the best thing you're probably gonna want to do is download it. So if you wanted a full HD one, you can get 1080 by 1080. You would have to upgrade your account, of course. They always want you to upgrade, but we're gonna go ahead and hit MP4 right here. As you, as you can see, it's going in our downloads. And there we are. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing better than watching you 
As you can see guys, it's really, really easy to create a slideshow from your photos. It all, is it always the best option to showcase your home? Um, not always, There's are, there are some better options as far as video and Matterport technologies and things like that. But if you're shot for cash and maybe, you know, the house isn't worth too much or the, the seller's not paying all that much, this could be a good option for you. You might wanna jump into doing this a little bit more often. So if you have any questions, um, drop them down below. If there's something you wanna see, it could be as specific as this. It could be more of a strategy or something like that. Let me know, drop a comment. If you like this video, please hit that like button down below. If you would like to subscribe, hit the subscribe button because we're gonna be doing a lot more of these while we're in quarantine right now. So um, yeah, thanks for watching and you guys have a good one.